What are we making today? What can we learn from Bobby Flay? I'm just so excited. I'm your student. Well, let's make. Just to sort of tie this into, you know, uh, what Nacho's been up to. One of his secret ingredients in his, in his food is bone broth. So we're going to make a shrimp pasta utilizing shrimp broth to really bring in lots of flavor. Uh, you take the shells, you put some water in, some tomato paste, some, some aromatics like onions, whatever. And then, and then in about a half an hour, you have very, very flavorful shrimp, shrimp broth and it's free. It comes with the shrimp, so you might as well use it. And, it, and you have great flavor. So we're going to start with the pasta. Now, there's a rumor out there that you don't like the shape of workiette. Is that true? Um, you know what? It's not that I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> really? I don't get it. Why? Don't, because I'm like, it's literally, I'm like, don't give me all that carbohydrate without being able to like string the noodles. I don't know. They just really irritate me. But you you're Bobby you, you just don't like the shape of it. You don't like the shape of it. I don't, I don't like the mouth feel. I, I, but you're Bobby Flay. So I was like, guess what? If anyone's going to like turn my Oraketti story around, it's going to be you. That's a lot of pressure, Drew. I know. I'll, I'll take the challenge. I know. I'm a dramatic <laughs> girl, Bobby. You know that. <laughs> I know, that's what I love about you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, so we're gonna start cooking some shrimp. Uh, we have some salt and pepper, we're gonna, and we're gonna put the shrimp right in the pan. A little bit of oil in the pan, and we have a hot pan, and you put the shrimp in there, and just make sure that they're sort of, they're not, they're not on top of each other. They each have their own little space in the pan. Bobby, you actually did, um, we have a clip here, a tape clip, and I'm really excited because it's very informative about said shrimp. I'm gonna roll that really quickly so everybody can watch Perfect. it. So, you wanna buy and prepare shrimp but don't know where to start? Here are some simple shrimp tips. Don't be afraid to buy shrimp frozen. The majority of so-called fresh shrimp you see at the store were flash frozen and thawed for display. It's better to defrost them yourself. As for pre-cooked shrimp, just say no. They tend to be dry and bland when added to dishes. You can buy shrimp in three varieties. Shell on, which costs the least, but can take more time to prep. Easy peel, which have been split and deveined, and pre-peeled shrimp are easiest to prep, but pricier. Now, let's get those shrimp prepped. To thaw frozen shrimp, place in a bowl under cold, not warm, running water for just a few minutes, then dry. Devein the shrimp with a paring knife or shrimp deveiner. And those are our simple shrimp tips. Enjoy your crustacean creations. So we're gonna take our, so our shrimp is about, you know, three quarters of the way cooked at this point. We're gonna take the shrimp out and reserve them on a, on a plate. And in the same pan, we're gonna take the garlic and some of the crushed red peppers, just a, just a, just a pinch of the, uh, of the crushed red peppers. And you just want to, um, you just want to kind of move the garlic around because you don't want it to burn. And then you're going to take some of the shrimp broth that we have. You should have some shrimp broth there. Put the heat on high and then let it, let it cook. You want it to reduce a little bit, just kind of bring it to a boil. And then as it starts to come to a boil, we're going to add the shrimp back to the, back to the shrimp broth. I'm waiting till it gets to a boil. So the, right, so the shrimp will, will finish cooking in your broth with the garlic and all those chilies and everything. And the, and the, and the, and the, uh, the shrimp broth is really what's gonna bring tons of flavor to it. We are making shrimp orecchiette with the best chef <laughs> in the world, Bobby Flay. And the shrimp Thank broth you. has been boiling and simmering and it smells <sighs> so good. Okay, and now, Bobby, where are we at? Is it time to add our orecchetti? Uh, yes, we can add some orecchetti here right about now. Should be cooked perfectly. Okay, and I'm going... And I just want to strain it out a little bit. Add some orecchetti there. And then this is when the pasta and the shrimp and the broth really start to come together. And then we have some fresh herbs. I have some fresh basil here. And fresh parsley, and you always add fresh herbs, Drew. Whenever you're cooking something warm, it can be anything. It can be a pasta or a rice dish or a soup or whatever it is. Whenever you're going to add fresh herbs, you always want to add them at the very, very end so they stay nice and bright and really green. Not so, can you keep it down by there? And then um, we're going to add a little bit of butter. Yep. For some richness. A touch of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Um, now, Bobby, I actually learned a very tough lesson the first time I was with your girl, Giada, and then I redeemed myself on our second 
hang, which is that you don't, it's not a good idea to put the cheese in while the pan is on the heat. You want to do right. it after, otherwise it turns into gooey, snotty cobwebs is basically what At you want. At the very, very last second, basically, you just want the, the Parmigiano to kind of just kind of melt in. It's almost like, it's almost like you're seizing it as you're bringing it off the, uh, off the heat into the, into the bowl. So you're almost, you're almost treating it like, like some salt, for instance, you know, just like that. Uh, if you have a lemon there, if you want to put a little lemon zest on top, that's obviously optional. I kind of love the, the brightness of lemon, I, especially for like a, like a shrimp pasta. Okay, I'm putting my cheese on and um, do I get to taste it now? Yes, let's do it. All right, you're gonna be the, let's see. Mm. It's really light, but the, the shrimp stock really brings a tons of flavor to it. All right. It's amazing. Right. Oh my gosh, Bobby. What, why is this orecchiette different? There's something, I'm not kidding. Maybe this is a, a, a new life for orecchiette for you. <laughs> I knew if there was one person that could turn me around, it was you, and I'm completely turned around, and I'm not just saying this. I thought it'd be really funny if I didn't like it. It would almost make for a better <laughs> segment, but of course, I'm in love. It's so good. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Bobby, you've changed my life. Okay, by the way, do you know what pasta I hate even more than orecchiette? What's that? Paparadelle. Really? Yes, will you please, please do a paparadelle dish because that pasta peeves me to no end. You like mushrooms? Love. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you a paparadelle with mushrooms, which is just amazing. You've totally changed me. Now I want to attack paparadelle because I don't know what it is. I just have a visceral reaction to it. I think I'm like okay. a child of the 80s from California. I like a nice box spaghetti. I do love fresh pasta. I love a ravioli. I love a tortellini. Okay, Bobby, I hear that we have a little surprise for our kittens who are up for adoption. Yes, at Brooklyn uh, Animal Action. So Nacho is uh, graciously donating uh, a bunch of food to, uh, to the Brooklyn Animal Action uh, because uh, it's important. He cares about cats everywhere, I mean, and um, he wants every cat to have a really good home and, and, and have good health. So uh, we're, we're really happy to be participating in that as well. Well, Peach and I just want to say that we absolutely send all of our love over to you and Nacho.